South Africa, the 12th of September 2017, 1241 by Tanya Farber, Henry Van Breeder in the dock, and Marius Joubert. Image Anthony Molyneux, the suspect in the Henry Van Breeder murder trial, was standing next to the bed when Rudy Van Breeder was axed to death. This is according to an expert who was tasked with analyzing blood spatter patterns in the wake of the triple axe attack that killed Martin Van Breeder, his wife Teresa, their son Rudy, and left their daughter Marley fighting for her life in the luxury home at Dazals in Stellenbosch in 2015. Police Captain Marius Joubert on Tuesday read out his second report, based on his analysis of the blood patterns. Joubert told the High Court in Cape Town that Rudy was likely lying on his tummy with his head turned to the side and was asleep or unaware he was about to be attacked, that Martin was attending to Rudy when he was attacked, that Teresa was attacked in the doorway of the boys' room, and that a grey duvet was moved from the bed to the floor after the attacks. The accused's plea statement did not detail a grey duvet being moved after the assault. In that statement, and in the defense's cross-examination of state witnesses thus far, Henry Van Breeder claimed that he was sitting on the toilet voiding his bowels and playing on his phone when he heard his brother being attacked. Much of the evidence in court on Tuesday corroborated what forensic pathologists had already detailed in the trial before Judge Siraj Desai. This included information on Marley Van Breeder defending herself against her attacker, Martin being attacked from behind, and Teresa facing her attacker. Jubeya said many of his findings were inconsistent with the details given by Henry in his plea statement. The case continues.